I was uh, watching some basketball last night. LaMelo Ball had seven three-pointers. He's the only reason why to watch the Hornets. They're not a, they're not a good team. But I don't even know if that's enough because you might just go, let me wait for the highlights with LaMelo Ball. He's fun to watch, and he's good. I don't know if he's great. I don't know if he'll be great, but I know that he is good right now. And I don't like the shot, but he made it. He makes it. It's, it's not what you would want to draw up and say, here's how you shoot a jump shot. But he made seven three-pointers last night. He didn't have a two-point a, uh, attempt that he made. He just made he made seven field goals, and they were all three pointers. But he also, you know, can dish out ten assists. I mean, he's he's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, watching the Lakers, um, you know, they went into overtime with uh, the Thunder. Like, what makes me just a little concerned here is they're playing down to their competition. They shouldn't be going into double overtime with the Detroit Pistons. Or the Thunder. And I know everybody gears up for the Lakers. But even if the Lakers are just going through the motions, you'd still think that we don't need overtime or double overtime here. And LeBron's starting to creep up there in minutes. LeBron, make no mistake about it. LeBron wants to win the MVP. And I'm going to guess that he's even more driven after watching what Tom Brady did. I think LeBron is going, he did that at 43, why can't I turn back, you know, the clock here? Why can't I let people know, remind people, I can still be the most valuable player? And I think that he's driven to make that happen. The only concern I would have is, how driven are you to win the regular season MVP? Because the Greek freak has won the MVP, uh, MVP and he gets to the postseason, and then it all comes apart. This is what, like, LeBron at this point, it's about winning another title. If you win the MVP, great. But if you said, hey, we'll guarantee you an MVP, but we won't guarantee you a championship. I want the championship. I don't care about the MVP. But also, you know, LeBron loves to be slighted. You know, if somebody else wins it, let's say Kevin Durant wins it, then it's another motivating tool for LeBron James. LeBron needs to win titles. Don't expend all your energy during the regular season win that MVP. Now, do I think that it's probably him or Durant? I thought Steph Curry was going to win it because I thought with Klay Thompson, Golden State was going to be back and Steph Curry was going to have a great year for a team. I'm watching Luka. Luka's not winning the MVP. I mean, that team is not good. He's he's great. But you watch that team, and it's, it's Luka. Occasionally, you'll get uh, Porzingis to do something. But they should not have a losing record. But Luka has been fun to watch. Uh, the Joker uh, had another big night last night. He's the guy that you watch and you go, how did he do that? Because there's nothing he does where you go, oh, my God. But then you look at his numbers and you'll go, uh, he had uh, 42, he had 13, and he had nine dimes. And you go, How? It's because basketball is about angles. If you have somebody who's smart enough to use the angles and they have the athleticism, then you get Michael Jordan. You know, Chris Paul can't jump. But, but Chris Paul's unbelievable. He's a Hall of Famer. It's understanding. You know, Larry Bird understands angles. The, and LeBron understands angles, and he has the, you know, as high a basketball IQ as we've ever seen. And he's athletic. Like when you have it and you put it all together, then you get something truly amazing. A lot of guys, and we've all done this, where you're on the playground, and you go, look at that guy. He's unbelievable. He's jumping out of the gym. And then you play, and then you realize he doesn't know how to play because he really never developed his game to understand the true angles of the game. And... You know, when you get guys who are able to do that, it's fun to watch. It's not fair to everybody else in the league. But Jokic, he knows how to, he knows how to play the game. And that always sounds so simplistic when you got guys you go, you know, what's he do? He just knows how to play the game. And we've all been on the playground where you go, he just knows how to play. Nothing special. He just knows how to play. Right place, right time, right pass, pick and roll, backdoor cut. 
you know, just not, not relying on, let me make a highlight here. And you have those players. Basketball is littered with players like that. But uh, <laughs> Out of the back row, I just heard, boring. Yeah. <laughs> what? Joke, it's so boring. Backing a guy down, oh, turn the channel. Okay. I, Give me Steph for MVP. That's so, all okay, I want Okay, wait see. a minute. So Jokic is supposed to go, hmm, I got to dress up my game here. No, but because I don't have, it, be, For you. But you don't, you, come on, it's impossible to watch the Nuggets because of him. This is boring basketball. It's like old school. I, give me Zion. Give How me many Steph. teams would love to have Jokic on their team? Oh, all of them. Okay. But do you honestly? The other thing is too. Until last year, he never won in the post. What are you like a like a twelve year old kid? Yeah, I'm like I want to see like YouTube highlights. <laughs> Dude, perfect. Oh, that guy's boring. I can't watch that. I like and can you see, dunk? Just, my whole life, like all I want to watch is the Vince Carters of the world. I don't want to see the guys <laughs> winning the titles. You know, and I'm not alone. A lot of people. I I get it. Like that. I get it. But you know, I I still watch what the end result is. I'd watch Zion warm up over Jokic in a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. He's so fascinating. It doesn't. You have no oh. idea what's going to happen when Zion touches the ball. Jokic is just going to score or have an assist. That's a great line. Great All right, Steph line. Curry, if they get good, which it doesn't seem like is happening, could he sneak in an MVP? No, unless they're. They, you know yeah. what? If he's if the team is better, then he would have a chance. But but I I don't. They have to manage his minutes. Yeah, they're like the ten seed to twelve and twelve now. Yeah, so they might not even make. I mean, the Steve playoffs. Steve Kerr has talked about managing his minutes because their their year is next year. Th- this year is just you know how good is Wiseman? Sort of figure out what we have, and then you make one more go at this, and you hope that Clay Thompson is able to come back from the Achilles. Um, but I thought Golden State was going to battle for supremacy in the West. I, I truly thought that. If you had Steph back, they were healthy, Clay Thompson back, Draymond Green, you put Wiseman in the lineup there, and, you know, that, that, that can be a formidable team. 